And welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Last time we continued through Seon City, helped fish, and made it to the uh, aristocratic quarter, I think is what they called it. And we're kind of stuck, so let's just talk around. In the ocean swims a mighty beast, till it is he who keeps the sea at peace. And what a magnificence we behold in this water dragon oh so bold. It's a song my grandma taught me. Apparently the water dragon that's causing havoc in the sea is actually a god from the dragon palace at the bottom of the sea. Did you know that, doggy? No, I did not, but that's good to know. Well, well, it's not every day I have a dog visiting my mansion. What is it, little one? Are you hungry? Or have you fled here from the chaos over at the Rarashima coast? I don't have anything for you, but you can stay as long as you'd like. Ah, a dirty dog in my lovely mansion. Get away from me, you flea bitten hound. There's no place for the likes of you. Wow, mixed message as much? Okay, so I have a gut feeling that that ship is actually a good thing. So my two hunches right now. One, the hole in the wall that Waka told us about, aka the half-baked prophet told us about, Either refers to something here involving the city gate, because he said something about getting to a hole in the fence, and, or referring to the hole in the ship. Problem is, because I can't swim, I can't really get into the hole in the ship. So that's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Meanwhile, with, um. Wow. I don't know where the prayer slips are because she won't say where the player prayer slips are, and it's kind of obnoxious, really. I break these. I cannot. It's like, just tell me where they are! Um. Yeah. What do these people have to say? Uh, Rao is the head of Ankoku Temple outside the city, but she's come all the way here to help us. She always makes an effort to come when we need her. She's. Ooh. Hello. Um, I have an idea. My guess is, knowing that she's the head of Ankoku Temple, she probably left her um, prayer slips back at Ankoku Temple. So there's our hint. Sort of a roundabout way to get a hint, talking to random NPCs, but that just seems to be how this game is. They expect you to talk to everybody. Which is both good and bad, because it's like... In some games, it would actually be worse. Uh, remember Final Fantasy 1? With, uh... Oh, what was his name? Une? I think that was his name. U-N-N-E. Um... It's like, if you didn't know he was in the, the dwarf town... How the heck, how the heck are you supposed to know he's in the dwarf town? Let's put it bluntly. Um, there's no, like, clear indication that he's even there. Ew, two of them. That's... unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I do the slash, slash wrong. That's messing me up in the long run. Okay, so wait till they land. Or stop in place, in this case. It's hard to do, <laughs> draw when you know you're gonna get pummeled by projectiles in just a short moment. I also wish there was a way to short, to like, force it to explode. Sort of like Zelda, how like, you drop a bomb and then slash it to instantly destroy it. I wish you could do that in this game. Maybe you can, I don't know. Um, yeah, not to my knowledge at least. I feel like fire could also work on these guys since they have paper umbrellas. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why sometimes the bomb just really doesn't want to work. Or any of the powers, really. It feels very picky. Um, and this is, all, of course, an issue I have with like every game I'm drawing, even DS games, is a lot of times it's not really clear what you're supposed to draw. Um, sometimes not so clear. Um... So this should finish off one, except I think I hit the wrong one. This one's weak. I don't know if I hit that one. Oh, that one. 
Okay, so they're both at the same level of health, so not all for naught. This should take out both of them. Yes. No ink left, but we survived. Those enemies are like the toughest enemies, like the toughest regular enemies we've actually seen so far. Easily the toughest enemies we've seen so far. Okay. So, um... Saving that... Okay, we need to go to the temple. Gotta remember to go to the temple. And I just have this gut feeling the water dragon is the key to all of this. And we need to find the water dragon. Um... Okay, level up first because we have plenty of extra points sitting around. I haven't actually died, so that's why I haven't put anything into the Astral Pouch yet, just because it really hasn't been necessary. I put some into that. Oh, you can't. You have to... It's an all or nothing kind of thing. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but that sunken ship, it's like, how do we get into the ship? Because we can't dive. If we could dive even for a split second, we could get into that ship. So, yeah. Kind of where we're at right now, trying to figure out how to get into the ship to progress there. Um, but yeah, I think I've pointed this out before, but I do find it interesting how the trees rotate uh, to your perspective. It's like it's something that you saw a lot in the older in the old days of 3D graphics, but uh, it kind of fits this game because it looks like a painting, so it's like everything is 2D, kind of. If that makes any sense. You know what? He sa they said not to ring the bell, which is actually making me really suspicious of why aren't we supposed to ring this bell? Because he said not to? But anything else beyond that? Apparently not. Okie dokie, let's see if we can find the prayer slips now. Because my gut instinct is telling me they're probably located inside here. Or near here. Just because this is where she came from, she probably got them in haste. So yeah, let's actually look around a bit. Oh. That dialogue again. Uh, what's, what's in here? Treasure! Okay. Hmm. Examine? People offer incense here. Thanks for the insight, it seemed really helpful. Um... Also, considering they hype up the double jump so much, I feel like the ship is important for that reason too. Oh shoot! Did we ever actually look at the moon spot at night? I don't think we did. I think it was daytime. Um... Stop hitting the lantern. Yeah, like, if they give a hint to where the parasips are, that would even help a lot. Um, really. Hmm. So, yeah, I wanna see what this looks like at night. Just out of curiosity, I have no clue if this actually gonna be anything. Um... Like, if the camera stayed at a point where I could actually, like, draw... Um... Uh, like a, a full crest, like draw around it, like that. You know, that would be a good puzzle, but yeah, I can't actually get a full view of this place. Um, hmm. And no matter how I orient the camera, I just can't. And also, there's these torches. So, is it like. Hmm. Yeah, I'm at a kind of a loss for what to do next. Because again, I feel like I've tried to explore as many places as I can go, and I haven't had any luck actually finding anything. What do you have to say? Well, it's such a shame about the ship stranded out there on the rocks. I mean, it was so close to the port, but then it was attacked by the terrifying water dragon and sunk. People say there's an invaluable treasure in it too, but the water dragon makes it too dangerous to sail these seas. Water dragon? You should think twice about bathing here, you know. Water dragon wouldn't hesitate to snap up a wolf like you. What's this water dragon you keep me talking about? You don't know about the water dragon? You see dragon god rampaging around the seas around here. It's supposed to keep the gods of the s supposed to be the god of the sea, keeping peace in the oceans. One day it went crazy and started attacking people. 
All the ships bringing food to the city were sunk by it. We must have been inside herself. Apparently there's some valuable treasure on the ship over there, but it's been left like that ever since the water dragon sunk in. Interested in the invaluable treasure on the ship, are you? Um, Apparently it was carrying a huge cargo of treasure. I heard about this weird mallet that makes you a small bug. You can get through gaps as small as the eye of a needle with it. What? Can't think of on what on earth you could use it for though. What? Looks like you're expecting some cash instead. Mm. Anyway, you really shouldn't be bathing here. The water dragon wouldn't hesitate to snap up a wolf like you. Something about the okay, he talked about the eye of the needle. Awaka did. So obviously we need to go into the ship at some point. Question is how? What power will allow us to get into the ship that's underwater? Like if we could, again, if we could just dive just a little bit and swim up, we could easily make it in there. But I don't think we can actually do that. Yeah, obviously a shrinking hammer is a good thing in a case like that. Why is it drifting like that? By the water dragon. I guess. Okay, this is just a little bit precarious. Knowing there's a water dragon somewhere. Yeah, see there's that light coming in there. Again, this isn't one of those games where you can like, trick it out where you're like, Oh, hi, bomb. It's not what it's meant to create here. Um, help, please, game. Thank you. Wow, the fuse went out. Huh. That's interesting, the fuse went out. That's... Intriguing. Oh shoot, that's not what I meant to do. Cancel. We. Well actually it's good to know that we can just ride lily pads. In the future. Hmm. But again, how do we get... Into this gap. Um, yeah. Hmm. Unless we have to get in from the outside of the ship and then work our way inside. But I don't see anywhere to get inside the ship from the deck either. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And frankly, this fixed camera angle is making it really difficult to see where I can and can't go. Can't, am I inside this building or not? That's just a texture. Um, yeah, this doesn't seem to be an entry point. It's obvious at least. Uh huh. I don't know if I actually checked this side of the ship actually. Um, and there appears to be nothing actually there. You know what, I'm actually curious. I'm gonna line myself up this, and do this. I wanna see what's over here. If there's anything over here. I'm not sure if this would be faster or slower than swimming. It's like faster in short bursts, kind of. Huh. So yeah, I'm kind of confused about how to proceed from here on out. Maybe it'll become more obvious if I do some more exploring. Um, but for the time being, it's like, they don't, there don't seem to be like a whole lot of options for places to go. That's the, the uh, complicated part. Hmm. Is there anything over there? I'm just gonna swim the rest of the way, save a little bit of time. Cause this does feel faster just swimming. As backwards as it sounds. Or maybe we have to get the prayer slips, and when we get the prayer slips we can get into the ship. And then when we get into the ship we can shrink down and get into the temple. Something, something arbitrary like that. You know, game logic. I clam down here. Uh, and it's just a treasure, so I'm gonna ignore it. Wow, this is remote, and kinda cool that you can actually come out here. Come out this far. Um... You know, actually, 
is that big structure that's actually on the map? It looks like it has a bridge going across it. So I also kind of feel like exploring over there at some point. The question is how the heck am I going to get over there in a decent time? Answer, you don't. Uh, it takes forever. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Like a faster way at least. There must be like a swimming upgrade at some point or some way to swim. Because, or like swim better, kind of. Because as is, this is rather inefficient. Another clam. One of these clams has to have a straight, uh, straight B. Just based on the nature of game treasure hunting. That, uh, that's pearl, I think. No, glass bees. Huh. Now we need a ship. It's nice that you can actually see to the bottom of the water, but it's also kind of like, how? How's the water just clear? But then again, I just remember there's water gone nearby, so maybe that's a part of the explanation. Yep, that looks important. Um, oh yeah, this is going to be fun backtracking later, uh, off screen, if I forget anything over here. Um, well, at least we've got a nice view over here. Wow, this is rather impressive actually, the scope of this game. Again, having to remember that this is actually a PS2 game originally. Um, that was then ported to Wii and then ported from, I think, PS2 to PS... That was ported from Wii to PS3. I think there's actually PlayStation Move support, too. Having never used or owned a PS Move, I don't know how good that would be, but... Uh, I have a feeling it'd probably be worse. Just by the sheer nature of porting a game. Um... Oh yeah, I forgot I can double jump. That makes things a little bit... Easier to navigate. Not a lot, but a little bit. Not chancing it. Maybe I am chancing it. Um, oh, well, that was way closer than it should have been. Okay, open this clam up. Hopefully, in our lifetimes. Wooden bear. I don't know how a clam actually got a hold of this item, to be honest. It's, but this is actually cool because it's a very non- Ooh, a zodiac. But it's like a non-traditional way to have a treasure chest. Which is, to me is actually pretty funny. Um, it's clever. One of these clams has to have a, a stray bead somewhere. It just feels like it should. Now can I actually run all the way to the top? Or is it gonna wall me at some point? It looks like I'm not allowed to climb to the top, but yeah, it feels... Wait, are those banners? Those are banners, aren't they? So there must be some way to get to the top of this thing. You know, now I'm curious, testing this out. Can I create platforms out of these? Doesn't actually seem like it, so this might just be like... For atmosphere more than anything, but yeah. Um, from what I can tell, this doesn't seem to be a way up there. As far as I can tell, at least. Um, and check out this one last rock structure and then end off. Actually, there's one other, over there, too. Um, not the last rock structure. Wow, we're almost at time, too. Well, that went fast, and we got nothing done, because we, all we did was get lost. Um, yeah, like the game gives, gives hints, but they don't feel like very good hints sometimes. Let's be real. Um, again, maybe it's really obvious that I'm just missing it, but yeah, I'm not really sure where to proceed from here. But hey, nice view at least. Oh, uh, wow, cool. So, I'm gonna position myself on top of the rock so I can get a good view. Next time on Okami. We will continue trying to figure out what the heck we're doing. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Okami.